everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo. And today we'll be talking about secure folder or some people used to call it secret folder. Now there's a lot of different benefits to use secret folder. Let's say that you wanted to separate your work from personal life, or maybe there is certain games that you wanna have another account that was open on your same phone, or you just wanted to hide a few photos for Christmas or some of the notes that you're doing for some type of an engagement idea or something like that. So there's a lot of really cool reasons to use this. So first off, what you wanna do is through your applications, you'll probably find this option here called secure folder. Now your icon could also look different than mine. That's one of the cool things you're able to do with secure folder is that you're able to change the icon and change the name to really make it secure and kind of almost hidden without really hiding secure folder application. Now you are able to hide this if you want to, and then you have to go through all of your settings to actually get to it. But I keep the application there. Now let's first kind of go through this main screen. We'll go to the bottom and then we'll look at everything on the very top. So first off, these are the main applications that are always sitting in there. And then anything down here is what I have personally added in, uh, except for contacts. Contacts was already sitting here as well, uh, but you can go through. And the cool thing is that these images here through my camera, there are seven images. These are the pictures that are only shown here and not on the personal side. So if my son was to open this up, he's not able to see the Christmas gifts or a few of them that I've purchased or anything for the nieces and nephews. You can also hide a few things inside of your calendar or maybe this is your work side of the phone. You have your work stuff on this side so it's not interfering with your personal side but when I say hiding some things you can put in here like maybe you're thinking of proposing on December 27th. Uh, you're able to write it in there like hey this is the ring day <laughs> and, and your personal side is not able to see it. Uh, any images that you take with this camera itself will stay inside of this gallery. Now, if you go on your personal side of the phone uh, and you open up gallery, you're able to highlight images and bring it over to secure folder once you actually turn on secure folder. So you don't have to only take images here. You can take it on your personal side because you're already there and then you can then move it over here. Now you kind of understood and picking up some of what I'm trying to talk about here with all the secure folder. Now, when I talk about bringing over an application with uh, a different account, so Toon Blast is one of the games that I play. It's it's one of those things that kind of kills the time. It's fun to play. So here inside of Toon Blast, you can see that I'm level 205 and it's a really cool way that I can have this game here on the secure folder and also on the personal side of things. Because again, uh, 205, let's say I go over here, open up Toon Blast, um, you're gonna see that I am level 576. So it's pretty cool that if you love a game so much uh, and you need to have another version on your phone to be a part of the same team, you're also able to do that. Uh, and I know a lot of people did that again with Pokemon Go. For some reason, I wasn't able to do it with the location uh, services thing, uh, but I was able to do it with Toon Blast. So this, you can kind of see what's all happening. Now, if you go inside of adding applications, you can just add more applications to this side of the device. Uh, and one of the things I would also suggest is maybe your banking application. If you don't want your banking app to be in the main portion of your phone, you can place it right over here and then you just have a extra added layer of security. And then for adding files, it just pretty much makes sense here. You can add any files of your images, videos, audio documents, and my files. Uh, from the personal side of your phone. So this is opening up the personal side that I have. And if there's any of these videos I wanna bring over into this secure folder, uh, you can do it that way. Now going to the top right-hand side of this application, this is where a lot of the important things are. So you can just lock it and exit right now if you want to, uh, but through my own settings, once the moment I get out of the application, it automatically locks. So I really don't need that lock and exit right there, but you can go through and you can customize it. So yours will probably look like this when you first open up secure folder folder. I switched mine over into a bike icon so it, it looks a little different. Uh, and also one of the things you can do is if you don't want it to say secure folder, uh, you can just call it like my folder. Uh, and so this way you kind of are, you know what it is, but nobody else knows what it is. Uh, and since there is a bike on there, I can even call it bike folder if I want to. And nobody's going to know what the heck this thing is. So if I get out of this, uh, now I got to move over here because it switched over with the whole uh, alphabetizing. And so there is the bike folder. Once I go inside, uh, now I'm able to use all my applications. 
With inside of the settings, you can have different ways to uh, have a different lock type screen. So I can use pin and I can also use fingerprint. Uh, this one right here I have turned on. You can see that when I exited, it, it basically closed it immediately. So if you want to, uh, for the auto lock of secure folder, you can have it done after five minutes, 10 minutes when the screen turns off. Uh, but I just do mine immediately because you know, it is the Christmas season. If I just took images, I placed it in there. If I lay my phone down and it doesn't turn off right away, if my son picks it up, then he can see everything he just got. Uh, and that's kind of, you know, one of the cool things you're able to do is just lock it automatically. Uh, for notifications and data, you can go through and you can either show content, hide content. Uh, mine does not show. Uh, it just kind of says like something came through with your secret folder, but that's pretty much about it. Uh, you can either show or not show the icon on your app screen. So if you do not want to have a folder with inside of your apps, uh, you can hide it, but then you would have to go into settings, biometrics and security, and then secure folder. And that's how you're able to go inside of it. This is where you can just go through your applications that is on this uh, uh, secure folder here. You can go through and you can either turn on or turn off locations and, and things like that. Uh, you got your accounts if you want to log in with your Gmail accounts. Now, even though on your personal side you're logged in with your main Gmail, uh, it's not logged in here. This is just imagine this as a completely separate phone. This is a second phone pretty much built into one. Your contacts, your images, your calendar, your applications, everything is completely separate. Uh, and so that's kind of where you kind of bring in the best of both worlds. It's a uh, work and personal device all in one. Uh, you can go through more settings if you want to go through some of the more settings. Uh, but really on mine, what I changed was I made sure that it's still shown. I turned on my lock type and I put on the auto lock of the secure folder. And that's really kind of all I did with that one. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this one. It's super simple, super easy. This is almost like easy mode, uh, but not uh, the real easy mode. You just have small application list here. Uh, you can add more if you want to. You can bring in your personal side items. Uh, but really, this is one of those things that for me um, personally, I use it to jot things down if I don't want anybody else to see it. I use it for uh, hiding images if they are for GIFs. And really the most big reason is because of this game here of Toon Blast, uh, I'm able to have two accounts on one team and bring my team more stars. Now, one thing I do wanna also show you guys is if you wanna know if you're inside of secure folder or not, because sometimes you might be with inside of an application and you can't remember which side of your phone you're on. You can see that this image here, it looks like a little folder with a little lock on it. So if I'm inside of this game here and if I scroll down, um, I can see that I'm inside of my secure folder. So if you're working on a PowerPoint or a Word or you're searching the internet, you're doing messages, you're doing whatever, Whatever you're doing and if you forget which side of your phone that you are on uh, then all you would have to do is just look for this little baby folder now once I get out of this you're gonna see that it goes away uh, and that's just one small indicator letting you know that you're inside of your secure folder but I hope you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit on subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you liked this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and I'll see you guys later